Since 2012, two teams have dominated the Northwest Central Conference. One is Fort Loramie, who won the NWCC title in their first year of membership. The other is Lehman Catholic, who've claimed the conference championship every year after 2012. These two will once again duel for the chance at the NWCC crown. We continue our countdown to kickoff series, starting with the Lehman Catholic Cavaliers. Countdown to Kickoff is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Call today for your free no-obligation consultation. Now the two-time defending NWCC champs. Lehman Catholic joined the league in 2012, and after a 3-2 and two season in year one, they took over. In the last two years, they went undefeated within the conference. Just last year, they made a trip to the regional finals and lost to a Marion local team who would go on and win the state title. The path to state this year does not involve the Flyers, though. They moved to Division VI. However, that trail isn't as smooth as one would imagine. The Cavs lost both the defensive and offensive players of the year with in the NWCC. Greg Spearman and Nick Rorke made their impact on the program. Coach Richard Roll realizes his losses, but hopes this young team will work hard. You know, not only we lost those two guys, but we lost a lot of quality athletes. Uh, it was a very solid class. You know, we're going to miss them, and it's time to go on, and then and, and these kids are willing to accept that challenge. For anybody to be successful, you got to work at it. Uh, I even told the kids last year, nothing's worth anything in life unless you got to work for it. I think there's a lot of pressure where a young team, a lot of the young kids have to pick up some of the slack that was left off. It will be a tough road, of course, because we did lose a lot, but when you work hard, almost anything's possible. In Fort Loramie, the Redskins are a team that went 7-3 last year. They made a playoff appearance against Fort Recovery, but went on to lose that game 28-7. However, that season is well in the past. With their first game on the road against defending Division 7 state champion Minster, Loramie will have that on their mind instead. At the helm is new head coach Whit Parks. He finally makes an appearance in Division 7 football, meaning Parks has now coached every division in the OHSAA. There are no talks about the possibility of postseason play. Instead, his group is focused on the games ahead and learning. And so far, the change has not been difficult. They've transitioned very well. The transition uh, is not always easy to a new coach, but these guys have been er very accepting of what we've tried to teach them and very accepting of uh, all the philosophies that we have and everything. And that's not easy to do if you're a veteran football player and, uh, you know, to switch coaches. But uh, I've really been pleased. I, I like the guys. I like their attitude. I like uh, all the things that uh, they're doing for us. And uh, it's an exciting group. We shorten practice and we just hit and go hard the entire time. And we've changed up our offense and defense a little bit, critique it so that we can master our plays. I think we'll take a turn for the better here with the new coach. Tomorrow, our countdown to kickoff features two arch rivals. For as much hatred shared between these two teams, they do have some common ground. Both teams not only don the same blue and red uniform, but they also finish second in their respective conferences. Hear from both the Knights and Raiders as they prepare to dismiss the title of second best tomorrow at 6-11. Some more high school football. Lima Senior hosted Defiance at Spartan Stadium for a scrimmage. The Spartan offense flexed their muscles early this morning. First series, Darius Gordon throws up the jump ball. Star receiver Ruben Flowers pulls it in for the seven-yard strike with ease. Shortly after, Lima Senior drives down the field again, but this time they hit Jaden Walker on the screen. He drops in the 19-yard touchdown reception, and fireworks continued on the next offensive session. It's Gordon to Flowers to the house. The pick commit scores a 75-yard touchdown. The Spartans get going for real in exactly two weeks as they travel to Middletown. The Bulldogs open on a Thursday. The 27th is the opener of OHSAA football, and Defiance will host the Wildcats of Napoleon. From the gridiron to the tennis courts, Ottawa Glendorf traveling to take on Ada at Ohio Northern University. First singles, Mackenzie Wilson. Vanessa's one over the net. It's out of reach. Point Willis, the senior Bulldog, wins in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. Second singles, Meredith Marshall taps one, over, taps one over with two hands. She scores en route to a 6-3, 6-4 win. Finally, in first singles, Haley Mayer makes the extra effort to save the ball, and it somehow drops inside the line to score. Her teammate, Libby Milk, steps up shortly after. She strikes quickly, helping the Bulldogs this match, 7-5, 3-6, 7-5. Ada defeated OG 4-1. Over at Whistling Straits, the third round of the PGA Championship is wrapping up. The leader right now, Matt Jones, currently at 13 under par, 2 under on the day. Brandon Grace's day is still going strong. The South African is 6 under through 17. And former champion Royal McIlroy, 
His day is finished. Four bogeys for the Irishman as he cards a 68. In the major leagues, the road, well, actually, we'll, you know, we'll continue that later tonight, but um, the Reds play, you know, Tigers at Astros, and we'll have those highlights later tonight. Thank you, John. We'll be right back after the break.